The U.S. has imposed fresh sanctions on two Turkish officials in response to the detention of American pastor Andrew Brunson. Brunson was arrested in 2016, accused of attempting to overthrow the Turkish government. He spent two years in jail but has since been released on house arrest. The Turkish lira fell to an all-time low against the dollar after the announcement on Wednesday, and Turkey said it will retaliate. And with me is our correspondent, uh, Alistair Sanford. Alistair, just... Tell us, uh, bring us up to speed, what is this case all about? Yes, uh, Andrew Brunson has uh, lived in Turkey for over 20 years. He's married with uh, three children. He's an evangelical Presbyterian pastor at the Izmir Resurrection Church, just had a small congregation. Now, we know that after the failed coup attempt in Turkey in 2016, tens of thousands of people were arrested as Erdogan clamped down. Um, Andrew Brunson was among them. Uh, he was charged with spying and with willingly cooperating with terrorist organizations, among them listed on the charges, the PKK, the Kurdish Workers' Party, uh, the Gulen movements, that's the movements linked to the exiled uh, cleric Fethullu Gulen that uh, Erdogan says was uh, behind the coup. Um, now, the charges could bring 35 years in jail, but to many people outside, they're completely absurd. He's just being targeted because he was a Christian, the Americans say. Uh, it's normal that he had contact with people as part of his job. Um, and the implication is that he's being used as a bargaining chip because President Erdogan has hinted that he'd, prepared to do, he'd be prepared to do a deal uh, in exchange for Fethullah Gulen. But Washington says that's for the courts to decide. There have been moves to get Andrew Brunson released, but it seems that that potential deal has broken down. And in terms of rhetoric, we're already seeing the beginnings of a tit for tat. What will this mean for U.S. Turkey relations? Well, it's potentially huge. We've got an unprecedented situation of a clash here between two NATO allies. Um, Donald Trump and his vice president, Mike Pence, who's got links to the evangelical community, have been threatening large sanctions. And now the U.S. has acted against these two top officials. Uh, this was the announcement by the White House spokeswoman, Sarah Sanders, uh, yesterday. The president has been closely following the ongoing situation in Turkey involving Pastor Andrew Brunson. We've seen no evidence that Pastor Brunson has done anything wrong, and we believe he is a victim of unfair and unjust detention by the government of Turkey. At the president's direction, the Department of Treasury is sanctioning Turkey's Minister of Justice and Minister of Interior, both of whom played leading roles in the arrest and detention of Pastor Brunson. Now, Turkey has responded angrily uh, to that. Uh, President Erdogan had already said that the country won't be bullied. Four political parties have issued a joint statement condemning those sanctions. Uh, the foreign ministry has described it as a hostile act. Turkey's foreign minister is due to meet uh, Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State, uh, this week. Um, but these, these sanctions on the individuals may just have a limited effect. But there's a wider impact here because they could go further. Uh, the U.S. could squeeze financing that the Turkish economy badly needs. Uh, and just the anticipation of these sanctions was enough to send the lira down to an all-time low against the dollar yesterday.